non existent. So I was like, no, no. And yeah, I just switched my Oxford application for Imperial. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mila and I'm a second year medical student at King's College London. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I got into medical school at King's College London by coming from Portugal and doing some of my studies in Portugal and then moving here, doing my GCSE, blah, 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 blah. So stay tuned to hear my story. So starting from the beginning, you know, I was born in Portugal, Angolan parents, so I'm Angolan and then I kind of just lived in Portugal till I was 15. Not kind of, I lived in Portugal till I was 15. And I went to school in Portugal, I did all my year one to year 10. And I was just living there, chilling there, whatever. And one day I moved to the UK. I was 15 years old at the time and I had just finished my year 10. So when I moved to the UK, I came to year 11, even though I was turning 16 on that year because I was born in December, so I was lucky because they allowed me to do my GCSEs, otherwise I wouldn't be here. But anyways, yeah, I got here, I got into a school. It wasn't the best school, but I got into a school and I kind of just did my GCSEs there, year 11. Moving to the UK and kind of just having to start over, different language. Um, at the time, during my year 11, it was hard. I kind of had to start looking for six forms and colleges at the same time and I was basically failing year 11 because you know a new country, new school, no friends. I mean I made friends after but like at the beginning no friends. So like I kind of had to, I had to kind of hear a lot of no's if that makes sense. Like at first when I started applying to six forms I had a couple interviews and my predicted grades for my GCSEs were like C's and maybe a B or two but like especially English and maths I was predicted like a three and a four so like everyone was like yeah you want to study what? They were like excuse me what? You want to study medicine darling? No that ain't happening so like yeah at first it was hard I used to kind of hear a lot of no's but then I guess those no's helped me build my knowledge because they made me make they made me they made me well we all know why I was predicted of foreign English because anyways they made me study harder basically and prove that I could do it and I did it I did it I did it but yeah Anyways, GCSE's time, I was failing, I was trying to apply for six forms, and by February, year 11, I was doing really badly, and that's when I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take matters into my own hands, I'm gonna start studying. And I was going to the library every day after school, and I was studying hard English, Romeo and Juliet. I was reading each sentence and flipping, analyzing them, just like, how could I explain each character? How could I like define whatever we had to do at the time? I don't even remember. And I worked so hard that by the end of GCSEs, I finished with one of the best grades in the whole school. As I said, it wasn't one of the best schools, so let's, let's not. But I had five A stars, two A's, two B's and one C. Anyways, my C was in maths. No, 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 no. My C was in dance, had a nine in maths. So let's get that straight. Let's get that straight. Um, yeah, I went from a four prediction to a nine because I am that. But anyways, um, yeah, I had a scene dance because I couldn't dance. I don't know who told me. Like, who told me to do dance? I can't dance. I got there and I couldn't do anything. But anyways, I still got a C, so, you know, I tried. Anyways, with those grades, I went from trying to get to college to, like, going to the best sixth form in the area and being like guys my grades please take me in and like yeah I went down results today I sat down and then they called me in and I was like you know are you sure you don't want me and um you know what they didn't even call me back for like a week and then on the first day of school I was like what they didn't call me 
and so I went to the school and I was like do you guys want me or not and on the same day I spoke to like the head teacher and he saw my grades and he was like what do you want to study and I was like you know I'm trying to get to medicine still and then he was like okay I'm gonna put you in the class and he put me in a class and that's it during my A levels at the start I was still getting used to living in the UK I was still like getting used to English and it wasn't a good experience it wasn't and um, uh, yeah I was just there studying actually at the start I wasn't even studying I finished sixth form with most of my marks so the first marks I got like A star A star A because you know after GCSE you want to prove that you're so good you know but then the second marks I got like C B A and then the last marks I got like C C D um, and in September when I went back to school I was predicted A star A A A star in no actually I was predicted A A A and I knew with that with those predictions I couldn't really go to any of the med schools I was thinking about because I wanted to stay in London basically so like I had A A A and so I started talking to my teachers and I was like you know I'm a good student I work hard and um yeah first it was my biology teacher she was like okay i'll give you the asr prediction however i wanted that asr in maps and i tried to explain that to my new teacher because she was new and she was just like no you have to go talk to the head of maps and so i went down there and spoke to the head of maps and she was like no because no one last year got an a star from as from like further maps as and yeah i just switched my oxford application for imperial and then that's in october when we're sending the applications and then we have like the bmat to do and i was there getting ready for my bmat thinking i was gonna do well and i didn't so i kind of just got a bad bmat knew that imperial was gonna reject me either way and then fast forward to december i got my first interview with saint george's you know i went to the interview and i was not prepared so yeah i got rejected and i was the only person in my school that got rejected eh. um post interview for st george's everyone else got an offer so yeah i had to hear a lot of jokes and that like brought me down like i was confident at the time and i was like yeah i'll get st george's and then i'll just have to get a and like when i got the rejection in january i was like so I got my rejection like on the 13th of January, maybe, mm, no, on the 3rd, no, I'm not sure. I know it was in school and I opened it and I cried and I cried and then I cried the day after and the day after. And then I started preparing for my King's interview because I got my interview for King's on the same week, I think. So like, I was like, you know what? I got rejected, right? And now I have the opportunity to actually get to my first choice. Kings was my first choice. And in my head I was like, well, um, I could either get in and, you know, go Kings. Or I'd get rejected and then I'd still have Queen Mary. I was kind of like motivated towards Kings. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to try my best, best, best. I spent those 10 days, because my Kings interview was like in the 23rd. I spent those 10 days studying and preparing the star the star method the, the experiences what i felt all the feelings all the qualities a doctor should have all the qualities i had all the stuff i didn't have all the challenges i went through everything i prepared all of that and yeah i got in and i got in at queen mary's and i got rejected from imperial uh i didn't even have an interview but i was I was expecting that and so when I got in at King's I was really happy it was all I always wanted and at the time it was A star AA and so I was one of the only people who only had an A star AA offer so I, I didn't have a backup uh, my backup was biomed and so I had a lot of jokes again it was like yeah you really think you're gonna get the A star or oh, you effed you effed and I was like you know what maybe I'm not I started getting confident again, you know? I was like, you know what, I got in, so they think I can get in. 
And so by like February, March, I started making a plan, a study plan. I had like a three month study plan for everything I wanted to cover. I was doing exam questions all the time. I had a plan. I was so organized. Where is that person right now? I need that person. But anyways, I was organized and I got the A-star AA. I feel like I could have got A-star A-star A, but I couldn't be asked to like kind of get my grades reviewed because I thought that if you got one reviewed, you'd have, you would get all of them. And imagine if my A-star went down. My A-star was on the dot. Like, ev like to get an A star, you needed a two one nine, and I got two one nine. That was my A star. I know that examiner was like, you know what, she don't deserve the mar this much, but I'm gonna give it to her. I'm gonna give it. So like, um, yeah, I got in by a mark, I guess, by zero marks. I literally got in, um, and I was so happy. I was. I remember that day. I cried when I opened my results I was like what I'm going to games and yeah that was my journey to medicine kind of thing you know it sounds I feel like it's half of it is like hard work and half of it is more like luck because the amount of luck that I had from getting into sixth form by going there on results day to like having one of the best sixth forms ever my teachers were so supportive and then getting reject rejected from St. George's which then forced me to actually study for my King's interview and prepare and then getting my King's offer and getting rejected from Imperial as well so that I wouldn't kind of try to focus on something else so I was working towards King's and then like just all of it I yeah I guess this is the video I was meant to kind of put a lot of the information of stuff I did to actually get to medical school and I didn't so I feel like I'll make another video about the actual stuff I did to get into medical school thank you for watching